Hey, what is up everybody? Yes, I returned to your phone, your computer, your TV, your tablet. I don't know what you're watching me on, but welcome back. It's me, it's Malcolm. And today, I had another video planned. I woke up at like five in the morning and I was actually getting my thoughts to do a video. And I was actually about to do this video. I was holding on to like, for like months, but no, uh, that got scrapped for a little bit because Shane Dawson is back. Not really, because it's not his channel, but Rylan Adams posted a video. Shane Dawson was in the thumbnail. Shane Dawson was in the whole entire video. It wasn't just Shane Dawson showed up and left. Shane Dawson was in the video. We finally heard him talk after months and months. And it was like a room makeover video. I can actually read the title for you. Our bedroom makeover reveal. So what I've learned is that the, uh, project started June 15th because you know anytime uh, Ryland Adams does these kind of videos it takes like a couple weeks to do so we finally have something where we hear Shane Dawson talk after that whole situation oh I'm sorry I think it was June 15th I do apologize it was uh, I think it was June 15th if I believe uh, but I do know that the first part where Shane was talking it was uh, previously recorded so it wasn't like in August but at the end uh, it was like during like the present time so we definitely saw Shane and he was like smiling you know making jokes um, so Shane Dawson we finally heard him talk after the whole cancellation thing and people are really like divided on how they're feeling uh, of course all the stands are happy that he's back and then you have the other half that are like we didn't forget so uh, I'm just going to read some uh, comments, but first we're going to look at the like to dislike ratio because I think it wasn't too good. I think the like to dislike ratio, if I can pull it up for you, I think it was like uh, 20,000 likes to like almost 2,000 dislikes. So of course, I'm pretty sure some of those are people that uh, saw Shane Dawson was like, nope, thumbs down. So we're just going to read some Twitter, Twitter comments and then we'll read some YouTube comments and then... We're gonna talk about a little bit more. Uh, the first one I did see, uh, it was Spill Sesh, uh, Spill Sesh, the YouTube channel. I was not expecting to see this today. I don't think anybody was expecting to see Shane for like the rest of 2020. I definitely didn't think he would come back this year. I think in my own video, I thought the next video that he would be in would be his own, where he's like doing a journey to rebuild himself. So I was shocked to see Shane. I think a lot of people were shocked to see Shane in 2020 so just gonna read some Twitter Twitter feedback because uh, like I said like on the YouTube video itself the comments are like a lot of positive but when you go to Twitter it's like half and half so we have this person right here every time I see Shane Dawson's face all I can think about is him freaking out on insta live and of course they're talking about the time uh, when Tati released her video on June 30th and then Shane was just freaking out and just yelling for like two minutes straight so she's definitely talking about that we have another one that says Shane Dawson has some nerve sneaking onto Ryland's channel dot dot like we didn't forget about the stuff he partook in and my my thing is well I mean Shane and Ryland are engaged so it would make sense to see Shane in Ryland's video but I can definitely see why you know it's kind of like dude Shane Dawson's in a video and he's talking and you know he's happy he's smiling you know and then you have people that are like you know seeing Shane Dawson and Ryan Adams video brought me joy today so you got people like that and then you have people like I can't believe Shane Dawson has the balls to return to YouTube LMAO like like it's all over the place it's all over the place and then you have <laughs> Shane Dawson and Ryan Adams casually coming back to YouTube like nothing happened with the like the side eye emoji and they more positive. Watching Shane Dawson back on Ryland Adams' channel just has made 2020 a lot better. And then this is uh, like on Twitter, like I said, it's a lot of half and half. Uh, people aren't sure how to feel. A lot of people are shocked that he came back. A lot of people are happy. Uh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say it's a lot of negative, but I, I was actually more surprised that Shane Dawson came back at all. Like I said, like. It's, it's a lot, it's a lot. But also Morgan and then Ryland's family was in the video. 
Uh, it was just... I don't know, the video was fine. I thought the bedroom thing was cool. I watched the whole thing. Uh, Shane was definitely in the video, like I said. Like, he was joking, making the jokes he usually makes about himself, uh, talking about poor. And then he's like, well, I'm not poor anymore, so I guess the check cleared from Jeffrey's uh, launch. <laughs> All right, so I have some YouTube comments here. And like I said, I think the YouTube comments have been way, way more positive. So we have, I'm just gonna read like a few. Um, this one actually has the most likes as of me recording this right now. I wish people could see how much Shane has changed. He is trying his best and seeing him smiling in this video just was just amazing to see. Which is good because, you know, I would never wanna like, like I said, I've only had two YouTubers that I truly do not like. One I've already done a video on, so you should go check that out. Uh, and the other, uh, she unfollowed everybody, so don't know what's going on with her. So, you know, Shane seems like he's doing okay. Uh, I know what he's going through. He's probably never experienced in his whole life. So I guess that could be a shock to anyone, to be honest with you. Uh, like, I'm not here to defend or, like, go against Shane. It's just, uh, I was shocked. Like, I'm still kind of shocked, uh, more so, more so than I thought I'd be because just seeing Shane in the thumbnail, you knew people were going to click on it right away. Like, this might go on trending. I don't know. I think Rylan does go on trending sometimes on YouTube. So, if Rylan does go on trending, like, what's going to happen? Like, what's the, what's the, like... The, the the real feedback going to be like this is just the initial but we we haven't seen like like a couple hours later how are people going to feel like are they going to feel okay do they not feel okay and then we have more youtube comments like this right here i was honestly worried for shane no lie i'm so glad he's doing okay i'm glad i've got to see shane in this video and to see how he's doing i truly miss because you do have to think about all the young fans that still do like shane and then you know they're kind of sad that he was gone for so long so for the young fans they're glad to see him and then you have the older fans uh that have seen all the videos and probably seen d'angelo's video which has like well over a couple million views at this point so you have the people that are like in the middle like i wouldn't say i'm more in the middle anymore uh i'm just kind of like i want to see what shane does if that's in the middle, I guess that's in the middle. Uh, like what is Shane gonna do to better himself from the whole thing? So that's what I wanna see. And then you have the people that have already forgiven him and said it happened in the past, move on, he's apologized. And then you have the people that are like, everything he did was disgusting, we will never forget what he did. So you have like three sides, I guess. Even though there's like two sides to a coin, but there's like three sides to this. So uh, that's my overall feeling, but I just had to get on because I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what what this means. Like, what does this mean? That's what I really. That's what I'm really trying to figure out. What does this mean? Does this mean Shane is gonna like come back just not on his channel? Is Shane going to was this like a one and done just so people can see Shane is okay? Um, I'm pretty sure people are gonna feel like this was like a tactical ploy by Rylan, even though. Shane and Rylan are engaged, so I'm not making that far of a reach, but I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think this means Shane Dawson is, like, officially back? Do you think this is a one-off thing? Do you think, do you think this is a marketing ploy? Like, what do you think? That's what I really want to know. What do you think? Do you think Shane Dawson's coming back? Do you think he's, this is one and done? He won't be back until 2021? Was this a marketing ploy? I don't know. Do you think do you think he's okay? I'll leave it up to you. But once again, it's Malcolm, that's me. The subscription button is up here. Two other videos over there. One's probably about Tanya Mongus because it's just funny to make fun of her. Without further ado, I wish you well, wish you good health, and I will see you again next time.